Hi, so uh, this time I want to show you how you can add some motion to these um, ships um, which we import into C4. Um, in C4, the way you animate any object, whether it's a, a model or geometry, or any node in the scene graph, uh, the idea is to assign the so-called controller to the node. Uh, this is explained pretty well on the wiki. Um, firstly, under programming topics, there's an article called the uh, programming introduction to the engine. And then down here, you can see the ideas represented with the picture that each node can have a super node and multiple child or children's nodes. Um, and it can have a controller assigned to it. And the controller um, represents the code which uh, animates um, the node. So, for example, if you want um, I don't know, a windmill uh, to turn and uh, then you would assign uh, a controller to the windmill which uh, causes the blades of the windmill to rotate um, or if you want to fire a rocket uh, then the rocket would have some kind of a rocket controller assigned to it um, which causes the rocket then to, to fly and, and explode um, so that's explained here uh, the controller idea is the key idea there is an example of how to define your own custom controller here. Um, and there is also an article here on how to use um, a rotation controller which ships with, with the engine. And uh, we'll actually go through that right now. We'll use the rotation controller, so we won't need to write any code for this tutorial. Um, we'll use the rotation controller to uh, basically allow the um, or make the one of these ships uh, circle the island. So um, it's fairly simple. Um, we first of all um, press node, select select the object you want uh, to have the controller assigned to. Um, so I just left click on this ship here, and then node get info, and then go to the controller tab and simply click on rotation and give it an initial speed, uh, for example, 0 0.02. Um, now, you need to also define the axis of rotation. Uh, to do that, what you do is you set two connectors in the connectors tab here. Click New. Uh, the first one needs to be called Sent in capital letters. And the, the other one needs to be called Axis. Um, so the Sent represents the center of rotation, and the Axis represents uh, the axis uh, of rotation. Basically, the line between these two uh, points will be uh, will define the axis for rotation. So that was this controller tab. We we set the rotation controller um, for this node for this model, and uh, in the connectors tab we create two connectors. Now the actual axis of rotation. Let's uh, click Control Four to see all four viewports. I'll zoom back here out in the top viewport. And let's make the axis of rotation the center of the island. Um, so to do that, we need to go to the markers page, which is here. Uh, click, left click here to select the location or locator marker. And then I'm going to click in the middle of this uh, square. Um, so this um, our model ship will then rotate around the center. So I'll click here twice, actually once for the cent and once for the axis uh, locator and then using the select tool um, I select the ship then I cl uh, click the connect tool and then you can see the two connectors associated with the model then I left click on send first and left click on the um, send Locator and then press Control L or or you can also go to Node Connect Node um, and now I will left click on the Axis Locator um, connector here and then left click on the second of the two markers uh, and Control L or Node Connect Node. Um, I will use the front viewport here. I'm scrolling out. I'm going to raise the axis uh, locator up so the line again between the uh, 
between the scent and active uh, markers uh, represents the axis of rotation. Um, and that's why it's so important to have the line vertical, uh, vertically coming out of the island. In other words, it's a double a click twice at the same point here and then simply raise one of them up to keep them move to. So that's it. If I now press world, uh, save and play world. Actually, no, I need to spawn. Um, at a different location to see this. Um, now what I did, what I do is I will use the find tool again to uh, locate the spawn marker. There's the spectator uh, marker and there's the spawn marker. I'll double click on that and I'll change it into a, a spec marker so that we'll, uh, we won't spawn as player, we'll, we'll enter the world as a spectator and we more easily then see the uh, ship surfing the island. So let's uh, click World, save and play World, and hopefully we should see that ship. It's definitely gone. It's going backwards. So let's uh, escape, control shift P. Just give it a, a uh, new scene where we are. That's my... Uh, and then control I for no get info. Go to the controller and give it a negative uh, initial speed. Okay. Control P. This time it should move forward. There it goes. I'll just move uh, back up here a bit to see that it really does serve the island. So the key idea here is that we're assigning a controller to a model. Uh, we could have just uh, assigned it to any geometry, for example, just for testing. And it similarly would uh, rotate around the axis of this point for the, um, for the controller. So it's that simple. Um, if you want your own custom uh, motions and animations and so on, then you need to find your own custom controllers, um, as explained uh, in the article of the wiki. Okay, in the uh, next uh, tutorial in this pirate ship series, I'll, I'll show you how you can add a controller to the battleship or to the uh, pirate ship here, so that the ship uh, fires cannons up there.